Gold Heart Locket by Jeff Black. This is a CBT guitar lesson for Richard, a.k.a. Colby. Uh, standard tuning. Now what we have going on is it's a banjo uh, being transcribed to guitar. I forget how banjos are tuned. I used to know, but um, this actually ended up working perfectly for the standard tuning. All right, so uh, I paid part, played part of section 1B on the intro, uh, but we're actually starting with section 1A, which is uh, really nice. And you could do this on electric with the clean channel. I just figured a, a little more raw like this. Um, really melodic intro here. Open D and open E. I'm going to go thumb and middle. That's how I like to do it. You can go index down here if you want. Just experiment with fingering. We're basing this out of a D major. So I can go 2G, 3B, and then hit the D and E together. Hammer on to the F sharp, which is the second fret here, which makes it a D major chord. So it's... Now you're ready to play all these notes. Just play the strings G and E. So we have... Go D B G. I like to go thumb middle index, but you can keep this strictly a thumb index or thumb middle through all of it if you wanted. You know what I mean? And then, which I need to show you that part. Open D and five high E together. So we're gonna you know pluck them together. Keep the volumes level so the your attack is super important. And then second fret. G and E together and do that twice so it ends up going so that's called alternating bass in our melody connect them we're looking at this and then right back to the first uh, little section of that D actually yeah so you do your hammer and then go G, E, just like we did in the beginning, and then open D, and then 5, 2, E. And those are played quicker. It's like, oops. Then you're switching to A, so, and to the picking on this. So we have second fret, D, G, and B, whatever fingers you want to use there. I change them up sometimes. Um, open A and open high E together, and then go D, G, B, and then D, G, E, so it's, um, okay, then, um, E minor, which is all you need on this is the second fret D, play both E strings together, and then we're ready for everything else, it'll be D, G, B, G, E, rest two times so it's but it's more like okay then we go to so we started in D to A to E minor to G now it's not this G major it's a different form it's the F major form of G so third fret barred E and B 4G 5D this one, we're going to go D, G, B, E. You can go thumb, thumb, index, middle over here, or thumb, 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 middle, thumb, 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 index. But anyways. And then D, B, G, open B is a transition note. So um, into D major, just like the beginning again for the first half. And then D, B, G, two times of that. So you have. Okay, then you'll see. So now our outline, B, A, B minor, G, D. Okay. Um, play again three times, or you're playing it three times total. Okay, we've written the first one down. Um. The second one through, the star is one time. When you finish off with the D, just go. You don't have to double that up then. Um, the intro that I did in this video is the next part, which is section 1B 
comes in 43 seconds in on the song. And this is really cool, fun little uh, pick pattern to do. It's that G major using the F form. And, re and we're going to go, and it's alternating bass going. But we're going to go D, B, G, E four times. It's a hold. All these are. So every chord, don't, you, you wouldn't want to go. It's not like that. They got to, you know, bleed into each other four times. So same thing over D major, um, except the strings. Actually, the strings are the same. So you're coming off this. You know, since when you switch to the D, if it's taking you a second to set up for it, you can start with the open D and then drop these down after. That's just totally fine to do. A major, uh, same strings. Uh, so they're all four times. And then E minor, 2D, open B, open G, open E, four times. all of that again section 1b so G D a major E minor um, played through twice That's really the bulk of it. Um, minute 15, you're back to section 1A. Just follow the notations in your tabs. Oh no, there's another section. Section 1C on the top of page 3. A minute 57 in. It's the E minor, same one we've been using. D, B, G, E, four times. That same G up here that we used, two times through. D major times through. So it's E minor four times, G four times, and D, no, G two times, and D two times. Let's try that again. Ah. And then Um, the next line down, 2 minutes, 17 seconds. And you're actually going to do that whole thing three times that I just played. And then you'll hit the 217 time stamp. And that's the A major, D, B, G, E, four times. Go to A7. Just um, It's the same chord, but the G string is open two times. Nice transition, major to seventh. So it sounds like this. back to A major, but three times, and he starts slowing down around the third one. Then you'll go G and B together, which I just stick these two fingers together, or you can go thumb and index, or thumb and middle. And then uh, the B, B string second fret with an open high E, so. Repeats at 229. Um, section 1A and section 1B followed with the G major adding to the end of all that four times 332 timestamp section 1A so you're starting it over um, and then at 358 the ending it's a D major think of it as a D2 which is a D chord with an open high E and go D G B is a slow quicker G B open E hammer to two so we have um, that, that, that's it so one thing I just want to quickly point out section 1a you he plays through it and then you've got 
three total times, which is notated in here. That's where he's singing over it. So he simplified it a little bit. I figured it's going to be easier to just, the chords are all the same. It was, it was just slightly simplified. But uh, it was interesting because when he sings, he even does the, but I'm not hearing the guitar do that. I would do the guitar there for simplicity's sake. It'll make a lot more sense. Um, okay, Richard, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Let me know if there's anything else you want, and we'll talk to you soon.